our first patient was expecting a normal day. And now they've ended up in accident and emergency. Let's see him get fixed. This is Accident and Emergency in Manchester, the place for all medical mishaps. And what on earth's happened here? Has he superglued his hands to his nose? Nose on, this is eight-year-old Max, and the problem is not with his nose. A few minutes ago, I realised that my lip was so all swollen. Did he say he had a swollen lip? Yes, look. Ooh, it is swollen. But why are you holding it? When it touches my teeth, it hurts. It hurts if it touches your teeth. Got it. So how did Max's lip end up so large? Well, it's all a bit of a mystery. Max was having a normal day. He'd been to school, like normal. And then afterwards, he'd been swimming, like normal. And then he came home and had one of his favourite meals. Mmm, meat pie. Yummy. And then he sat down to watch his favourite cooking show. This is making me hungry. But just as they were getting to dessert, Max felt something funny going on with his lip. It started to tingle. And then it grew. And it grew. And it grew. Ouch! It really stung when it started going really big. I bet. And with such strange swelling, let's open the case of Max's mystery mammoth mouth. Has he had any allergic reactions in the past? Yes, he's got allergies to peanuts and white fish. OK, and he's not had no nuts or anything near him. So Max doesn't think he's eaten nuts or white fish, which he's allergic to. But with symptoms like this, he's taking a medicine called antihistamine, just in case it is an allergic reaction. Well, here's someone who can bust that lumpy lip. It's Dr. Sara Syed. So was it sore? Was it tingly? Stinging. It was stinging, was it? Yeah. OK. Did you feel like your throat was getting tight or anything? No. No. Dr. Sara needs to give Max a thorough examination to find out whether or not he's having an allergic reaction. Oh, can you just say ah for me? Ah. If he is, the biggest concern is that it could get worse and cause his throat to swell up, making it hard to breathe. OK, is that sore at all? No. OK, so there's no swelling at the back of your throat, which is really good. Luckily, Max's throat and airways are clear. But what about his lip? Is it from an allergy? It looks like some form of allergic reaction, OK? Um, just with there being the swelling and this tingling, it kind of all fits in with that picture. The good news is that the antihistamine has started to work and another 20 minutes later, Max's lip is looking smaller. How are you feeling? Better. Yeah? High five, antihistamine. What exactly has made him have that allergic reaction is uh, a little bit of a mystery. It seems like his immune system just responded quite strongly to something. It might be that Max has developed a new allergy. To try and find out, he'll return for an allergy test in a week's time. Take care. We'll be back later to find out how he gets on. Ouch. It's not just emergency teams in hospitals that are ready to help you. I know! There are medical crews all over the country on standby 24-7. We're on call with the UK Emergency Services, showing you what it's really like on the front line saving lives. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. This is a state-of-the-art rapid response vehicle. It can get to the scene of a medical emergency in minutes. And I'm heading out in it to show you what it's like to be a life-saving paramedic. Jan can take 10 to 15 emergency call-outs in a day, and a new case is just in. We've had a 999 call to see a 32-year-old man who's got a rash and swelling in his mouth. Now, that sounds to me like an allergic reaction. So I've got my camera in the front, Eric has got his camera, and we're going to be getting you as close to the action as possible. Only a couple of minutes later, and we arrive at our destination. Hello, is it Alan? Yeah. Take a seat, my name's Jan. What's the problem today? I thought I had like a reaction to something. Uh, your tongue was swelling, your throat feels a bit. Tight, have your mouth wide as you can. But, uh, uh, so your tongue feels big in your mouth, does it? Yeah, I mean, it feels quite tight. Okay. I was a bit short of breath, but. Alan is experiencing something called anaphylactic shock, an extreme allergic reaction. 
Tigger and Sasha look concerned. So is there anything that you're aware of that you're allergic to? <laughs> Nothing that you know of? Although Alan's being pretty brave, he has a life-threatening condition. His lips and tongue can swell, and that causes problems with breathing and swallowing. So it's actually really important that Jan's here. What I'll do is I'm going to give you an injection into your arm in a second <clears throat> with a drug called adrenaline. Now, you may have heard of adrenaline. It's actually a hormone that your body makes. What it's doing, in Alan's case, is constricting the blood vessels in his tongue, in his lips, and will actually reduce that swelling. In cases like this, it can be life-saving. I'm sending um, Alan in the hospital today just so that I can make sure his tongue doesn't swell again. So the drugs I've given only work for a short time. How are you feeling, Alan? Do you feel like it's working? Yeah, I do feel a little, a lot of swelling is going down. Yeah. An ambulance has arrived to take Alan into hospital. You'll be right walking out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. It's potentially a life-threatening problem that he had, and Jan's really fixed him up. You could see how much the swelling in his lips had gone down, and that happens all the way down his throat and into his lungs. So that's really, really good news, and they'll be able to treat him really well in hospital. see how Max is getting on. Let's head back to accident and emergency. Back in Manchester, eight-year-old Max has returned to hospital for an allergy test after his lip swelled up like this. Wow, it was a whopper. Max had been to school, then swimming, and then had dinner at home. But all of a sudden, his lips started to swell up like a big balloon. So this is what you look like normally but the cause of his mega mouth is still a bit of a mystery. Max is allergic to peanuts and white fish, but he hadn't eaten either of those things that day. However, Max has a theory. Uh-oh, mum's in trouble. Mum said she was eating nuts, and she touched me there on my face. <laughs> I might have to hold my hands up to that, because I do eat nuts at home, but we do keep them out of his way. Well, it could be his mum, but it could also be something new. Enter allergy specialist nurse Sarah Allard. And gosh, she's a terrible speller. No, Zand, she's putting a variety of allergy samples onto Max's arm to see which ones get a reaction. And it's not just food types. This is dog. She's also testing for things in the environment, including dogs, cats, grass, and tree pollen. Hold on. Now Max just has to wait. The best thing to do for itches is to blow. It takes 15 minutes for the reaction to show up. A white bump shows there's an allergy. <laughs> wow, we've certainly got a few there. So our tests today have said, yes, you're still allergic to white fish and peanut. But what we've also learned today is that you are allergic to cats. So was Max playing with cats on the day his lips swelled up? Uh, no. And you are allergic to grass. Ooh, was he rolling around like I do when I'm allowed? No, Zand, he wasn't. So we're still none the wiser about why his lip grew so big. Well, Max still has his theory. I think it was mum. <laughs> your mum? That's nuts. Well, we'll never know. But you can put your arm away now, Max. Bye. 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 On Operation Ouch, we've been hitting the hospital wards to show you what goes on. Today, Chris is on duty in the allergy clinic. Prawns, cheese and nuts. What do these three things have in common? Well, obviously, they're all best served dipped in chocolate. Apart from the nuts, that would be disgusting. But foods like this are also the main cause of a problem that some of you may have. I'm talking about food allergy. An allergy can cause the body to react in extreme ways. These pictures show some allergic reactions on the skin. But what is an allergy, and why does our body do this? This is consultant Dr. Viba Sharma, a specialist in allergies. She'll tell us everything we need to know. So, Dr. Sharma, what is an allergy? An allergic reaction is when somebody's been given something that they do not agree with and their body reacts to it. What happens when someone gets an allergic reaction? Those that are not severe will cause rashes, they might cause swelling. A small proportion of people can have severe allergic reactions, and then they get very poorly. This is Haroon, who has a suspected milk allergy. When I have some, um, something with milk in it, um, I get a bit itchy on my body. And this is Holly, who has a suspected nut allergy. 
So the last time I had peanuts was when I was 18 months old and I had an extremely big reaction to that. They've both come into the clinic today for allergy testing. We do this test that's called a challenge test. The allergy challenge test means that Haroon and Holly will be taking small bites of foods Dr Sharma thinks they're allergic to. They'll both be monitored closely by the medical team just in case they start to have an allergic reaction. Holly's trying chocolate with nuts in it. She hasn't eaten nuts for 11 years, so how's it going down? I've just had my first bit and so far so good. Haroon's had one bite of pasta with milk in the sauce. How's he doing? It feels um, like I'm getting a bit itchy. Haroon's itchy skin could be the sign of an allergy, but nothing major is showing yet. Time for a second bite. Anything happening? Second one now and I'm still all right. In fact, after a few more bites of her dreaded food, it's good news for Holly. I've had six pieces of chocolate with mixed nuts in and with no reaction. They confirmed for me that I'm not allergic to any nuts at all. So it's thumbs up for Holly. As you grow older, it's possible for the body to build up a tolerance to some allergies. So, one down, one to go. How's Haroon getting on? He's trying another spoonful, and now an even bigger spoonful. The doctors are building him up to a full meal to see his reaction. He started itching a lot. A bit itchy there. And this is definitely an allergic reaction. When this happens, your body releases chemicals called histamines, and this is what makes you itch. The more histamines, the more severe the reaction. The histamines released not only make Haroon itchy, but also cause little bumps on his skin called hives. These bumps are formed by fluid leaking from the blood vessels in the skin, which means one thing. I'm allergic to the milk in the pasta. We know Haroon's reactions have been really bad in the past, so he's had breathing difficulties which have required a lot of treatment. Uh, but thankfully on this occasion he's got this rash that has alerted us, so um, we're going to now stop the challenge. He's had the medicine and we'll observe him for a little bit longer to make sure that this reaction settles down and that he's not going to develop any more symptoms. So although the body can adapt and overcome food allergies, the allergy challenge has confirmed Haroon's body is still sensitive to milk. He'll need to avoid eating anything with milk in it to make sure he doesn't have a nasty reaction in the future. We're on call with the UK Emergency Services, showing you what it's really like on the front line saving lives. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. This is a rapid response vehicle, and it's on standby 24-7 to respond to whatever emergency calls coming in. Today, I'm going along for the ride, and guess what? You're coming with me. Jan can take 10 to 15 emergency call-outs in a day, and a new case is just in. So we've had a 999 call to a 53-year-old lady who's injured her ankle. So it could be anything from a simple sprain to blood loss, severe pain, and maybe some other cause for the fall that could be life-threatening as well. So we've got to get there quickly, find out what's going on. The call has taken us right into the centre of town. Hello. 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 Is it Linda? It is. What's it? happened? What? Tripped over the man I'm Oh, just the edge of that raised platform yeah. there. So was you knocked unconscious at all? No. Have you hit your head or the back of your neck or your back at all? No. What have you injured? My knee and my ankle. OK. Are you able to bend your knee at all? I do, but my ankle hurts. Your ankle hurts when you bend it? Okay. Yeah. Press down on my hand. Push down as hard as you can. Where does that hurt when you push down? On my ankle. On the outside? Yeah. Linda's ankle is clearly causing her a lot of pain. So it may just look like Jan's feeling her ankle, but in fact, she's feeling in very particular places. There's a set of rules called the Ottawa Ankle Rules, and they help you decide whether they're likely to have broken a bone. So Jan's trying to figure out which bits are tender. That'll tell us whether she needs to go to hospital. Yeah, I'm going to need Emma back up for this patient. She's unable to wait there, um, needs an x-ray. Using the Ottawa rules, Jan has decided that the ankle is probably broken and Linda does need an ambulance. The moment she's quite uncomfortable, we're managing to keep her warm, but she can't walk on that leg. So we need to get her to hospital and get her an x-ray. She can be treated from there. 
It's important to keep it still so that if she's got any bones that are broken, if the edges rub together, it can create a lot of pain and it can create some bleeding, which will make the ankle worse as well. You're doing it, that's it. Well done, darling. Are you able to twist around a little bit? There you go. It's really good that Jan was able to assess her really quickly, get her an ambulance and get her to hospital where she needs to be. And once there, the doctors discovered Linda's ankle was broken and it was soon fixed. Ouch. The team in the emergency department thought they'd seen everything. But they weren't expecting this. Sand! What's happened? In Sheffield Accident and Emergency, 10-year-old Neve has a dodgy ankle. What happened? I fell down some stairs. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let's find out more. Well, Neve had just been in her maths class and was heading for lunch. Oh, I've got a great maths joke. Go on, then. Why was six afraid of seven? I don't know, Zand. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Very good, Zand. Now, getting back to the story. Neve was on her way to lunch after maths. <clears throat> yes, Chris. All of a sudden, she fell down some stairs and hurt her ankle. Oh, no, Chris. That's no laughing matter. Ouch! How's that ankle feel now, Neve? Can't walk on it at all. Well, never fear, as Dr Helen Newsom is here. Oh, yeah, that is quite swollen, isn't it? That'll be a yes, then. Is there any pain up here? It starts to hurt really bad about there, doesn't it? Can you wiggle your toes at all? Oh, dear. Those toes don't seem to be wiggling. What's the verdict, Doc? Worst case is that she's broken it. And one of the things you can do with breaks is you can damage some of the nerves or some of the blood vessels. And she might need to go to theatre with the orthopaedic surgeons and have it fixed. Best case scenario is that she's sprained it. So, it's off to X-ray to see what the damage is. Dr Helen delivers the results. We managed to do a little break or fracture through this bit here and one through this bit here. Ooh, double break. So what's the plan, Doc? We admit you for a couple of days. Right. Put you up on the ward and elevate that foot. It's really important that we get that swelling down. So what we need to do is we need to get her admitted for a couple of days just so we can make sure that leg is nicely kept up in the air, make sure she doesn't develop any complications. Probably not what you wanted to hear, is it? As Neve's ankle is so swollen, she's having a back slab cast. She needs a cast to keep the fractured bones stable, but it only goes halfway around to allow for the swelling. Really heavy. It's heavy. How's that ankle feeling now, Neve? Feels a little bit better with it on. So it's a thumbs up and off to the ward for a sleepover, where Neve will have to keep her leg up for a couple of days, as it's important to get the swelling down on that ankle. Find out later how she gets on. See you.